EPA WA meteorologist Bobby March is here with your outlook for the weekend, May 11th and 12th, 2019. For your Saturday, we're going to start off with partly cloudy skies early this morning. I think clouds will increase during the course of the afternoon from southwest to northeast. And we have this complex of rain, dead or southwest, is going to make, our, make its way into the region during the course of the evening hours. Again, southwest to northeast. And it will be light at first, and then we'll start to see an increase in concentration of those showers as we work through the night. And then when we get into Sunday morning, we're going to have more steady rain to deal with. Uh, there might be a break in between here, very uh, maybe during the afternoon on Sunday. So Sunday afternoon, evening hours may not be as wet as advertised. Uh, but we will wait and see how that works out exactly. But right now, the, the uh, short-range models are indicating there could be some breaks in the action. But if you are taking your, your, your uh, uh, mother to uh, breakfast on Mother's Day morning, bring an umbrella. Okay, so this is looking at uh, overnight Sunday night. We have another round of showers coming through. Still some showers hanging around during the course of the day on Monday, but these are going to be more widely scattered here once we get to Monday as, as opposed to concentrated. And then uh, we'll still have a shower threat through Tuesday morning, it looks like, before this final system finally pulls, pulls away or the complex in the systems finally pulls away. And then we'll have a partly to mostly sunny skies on uh, Wednesday in its wake. But we will get to the name high rest future simulated radar. I'm going to start this off at 6 p.m. on Saturday. And we can see most of the activity at this point is down to our southwest, just south of the Mason-Dixon line. I would not be surprised to see areas in southeast PA to get into a shower a little bit earlier than that. But that will work its way to the north and east through the course of the evening. And you can see that here. So we go through the course of the evening. And it's going to increase in coverage as we go through time. So starting off with just a few showers early on. It's going to become more concentrated as the night wears on. And you can see that here as we go through the course of the night. We go from widely scattered to just scattered and then light rain pretty much across the entire region going right through the overnight period uh, overnight on Saturday night. And that goes right into Sunday morning. Now, Sunday morning, again, uh, if you're taking your, your mom out for Mother's Day breakfast, uh, bring an umbrella because it's going to be very wet. And uh, this is the entire region should be inundated with uh, with rain, at least light rain, but if uh, if not moderate or at times heavy. And you can see that with the yellow indicated on the radar here, on the simulator radar. This is actually looking at 10 a.m. on Sat on uh, Sunday. And as we go through the course of the afternoon, that uh, heaviest rain shifts east, and then we start to uh, taper to showers during the course of the afternoon. And then you might have a little bit of a break here as we get into Sunday evening before the next wave moves through. But this is just more showery type stuff going through the overnight period and into Monday. Going to the end of the period, you can see there's still some scattered showers, drizzle, that kind of stuff going on. Now, I do want to say that today, as far as uh, in terms of uh, 1 to 10 scale, which I introduced yesterday, 1 to 10 scale as far as uh, how, how good the day is going to be on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being blue skies, bright, sunny conditions, and perfect temperatures. That would be a 10. If you're getting to a 1, that would be the most miserable outcome you could possibly think of with, with rain, drizzle, fog. I think we're going to make Saturday a 6 now. 6 because instead of 8 because uh, we're, we're dealing with some increasing clouds late in the day. Starting off nice, turning uh, mostly cloudy at the end of the day. And then Sunday is probably going to be a 1 or a 2. So very uh, raw, damp, chilly, that kind of thing. The temperatures are only going to be... Uh, in the lower 50s in a lot of places, lower to mid 50s in a lot of locations here on Sunday. And the same thing, carbon copy on Monday with low to mid 50s for temperature. So you will have showers around here on Monday, not a total washout, but then once we get to Wednesday, we rebound back into the 60s, at least mid to upper 60s for highs with partly to mostly sunny skies. And then we have this fast moving clipper system that's going to move through here on Thursday. This does not look like a big deal, but a few showers will be possible during the day here on Thursday until this moves away. The best forcing is going to be further north and south. So we're going to be like in the middle where we just have a few showers to deal with and that's it. And then once we get to Friday, we are uh, partly cloudy again with temperatures getting into the 70s. So we have to persevere this week. This is probably the last week we're dealing with this nonsense with, with, with the stalled frontal boundaries and rain and excessive rainfall and cold temperatures. I think once we get past the 18th, 19th time frame, as I outlined in the long range outlook yesterday, we do start to turn the corner a little bit and the final 10 days of May will be a lot better than what we've seen for the first 20 days of the month. 
and we should start to see consistently warmer temperatures and drier conditions going forward. I'm EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for the weekend, May 11th and 12th, 2019. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.